In this video we're looking at three things which are assemblers, compilers and interpreters. And these three things are all, all of them are types of translator. So they're taking one language and converting it, translating it into another language. And so the first one we're going to look at is the compiler. So if we take a high level language and we'll imagine that this is something like C or C sharp. If we take that high level language and we go directly to translating it to machine code, then we will use a compiler. And the sort of files that we'll get out will be EXEs, so an executable file, or they're also known as bin files, binary files, because the machine code inside is all in binary. And so that's how we get from a high level language to machine code. If we want to go from assembly language, so assembly code, to machine code, then we will use an assembler. And the clue is that the words sound very similar. An assembler will go from assembly to machine code. Interpreters, though, are a tiny little bit different. And so what an interpreter will do Whereas a compiler takes all of this code, compiles it, and translates it then into machine code, what an interpreter will do is it will take each line of code and then it will translate that line of code into machine code that can be run. And so an interpreter is doing something very similar to a compiler, but it's doing it line by line. So this source code will be delivered to the client. So if you're doing JavaScript on your client machine on the user's machine, they will have that JavaScript and it will be taking each line of code and then translating it into machine code. So it will take the first line into machine code, then the second line into machine code. If it's got to wait for user input, then it will sit there waiting and then it will do the next line of code. And so because of that, it is quite slow by comparison. And the sort of languages which do this um, interpreter method Java does it, although Java's fairly quick, it's been optimised, and JavaScript does it, and that's why JavaScript is much slower than other languages, although on very fast computers you don't really notice the difference. The advantage of using interpreter though, I can write this code once, and then I can deliver it to lots of different machines, and those different machines have to have the interpreter, whether that's the Java interpreter, or the JavaScript interpreter, or an ActionScript interpreter in Flash, and that's why you need to install software to get those types of languages to work. Whereas, if it's compiled code, you don't need to have software to get it to work. That will work, work directly on the machine. But once I've compiled these executables or these binary files, they only work on one machine. 